Continuing on with the Monday Night Raw preview, we have a match which is TJ Perkins going up against Brian Kendrick. Uh, this, of course, is a rematch from the first Cruiserweight Championship match that happened um, back at the Clash of the Champions just two weeks ago. I, honestly, in my mind, it didn't really make any sense. I can honestly tell you that I thought this was going to be a Cruiserweight Championship uh, title shot for Brian Kendrick, but this is just a singles match against C.J. Perkins, and people are saying that if he wins this match, then he'll get a shot down the road, whether that's going to be Hell in the Cell or a Monday Night Raw down the road. Um, with that sort of a stipulation, you got to be thinking that Brian Kendrick is going to be getting the win. Um, I think that honestly, when they did Brian Kendrick versus um, TJ Perkins at Clash of the Champions, I thought the one main reason why they were doing the match was the fact that Brian Kendrick was the biggest name in um, the cruiserweight division, according to the most people that watched Monday Night Raw. Maybe people would remember him um, from being in the company back in 2005 or maybe being a part of uh, TNA in 2009, 2010, somewhere around then. Um, you know, a lot of these guys um, are, are big names to hardcore wrestling fans that watch PWG, that watch Evolve, um, but they don't really know who most of these guys are, so they have to make a name for themselves. So using a guy that has a name is something. Um, Brian Kendrick, of course, is the hometown guy in LA, but he is the heel, so I don't really, they really think that pays, plays into the effect of this. I will say that honestly, if I had to put money, I, I would bet that, that Kendrick, who came up short at the class of the champions, he ended up tapping out, but then once got up, extended the hand of friendship, trying to, you know, put over TJ Perkins as a sign of respect, and then delivered a headbutt and, and put TJ Perkins, um, in a, in a, submission hold of his own, um, basically trying to make a name for himself, still staying in the Cruiserweight title hunt. Um, I was thinking that maybe Kendrick was just going to get chewed up and spit out as just sort of a, a past name. They keep on exposing how old he is, even though he's, he's younger um, than some of the main guys on the main roster like John Cena. Um, but um, I don't know. He, he's not the biggest star in their mind. And they've got a lot of other guys. I keep waiting for guys like Cedric Alexander to get their push. But I'm sure that's going to be somewhere down the road. So um, in this match, I'm picking uh, Brian Kendrick to get the win, setting up a match to Hell in the Cell. Um, We'll see what goes on with that one.